So as we look at the future of work, two themes come up to me that answer your question. One is, even if you do have these technical skills from Columbia, you're going to have to constantly reskill and upskill to make sure that you are keeping pace with all of the changes that are happening in the marketplace. It used to be that you could get educated and then you could carry that education throughout most of your career. You could stay 25 years at Kodak and what you learn in college or maybe even high school would last you throughout your tenure. Now the cycle is changing so quickly that whatever you learn in Columbia, you're going to have to go back and retool and refresh. You may even have to pivot to a completely other functional area. And so the first part of my answer is whose responsibility is it to have to do that retooling? Is it experience responsibility to train their workforce to stay constantly retooled and adaptable? Or is it the employee's responsibility? And my research is showing that it's the employee's responsibility. So either you as a full-time employee, make sure that you stay refreshed and retooled and you can go back to Columbia or some other source to do that. And experience certainly can have resources around training, or you will be replaced by somebody else who does have those skills or Experian or their company will go out and into the gig economy and get contractors who have that experience. So that's something that we have to think about. The other is the soft skills. So in addition to having all these technological skills and technical and applied analytical skills, who has the soft skills to be able to work with the technology? Um, you know, collaboration, communication, sophisticated, uh, you know, work around managing people, diversity of talent, diversity of product, all the nuances that are needed, part of which Eric was just talking about, that, that personal interaction is still going to be uh, relevant at some level. And we need managers who can manage at that level. And so as we go further and further up the ladder on technical skills, we are beginning to lose the soft skill capability that is needed to combine with artificial intelligence and machine learning and Internet of Things to be able to make for successful products and services. So we at Columbia are thinking about how can we continue to maintain positive curriculum and knowledge and information that the market is looking for? How can we give those students an opportunity to come back for lifelong learning throughout their careers as they, be, as they need to retool? And then also, how can we give them the soft skills in terms of management, communication, collaborating with people, managing for complexity and change? All those soft skills are, are very much necessary, too. And that's not what universities are leading with. They're leading with the technical skills because that's what people want to buy. But then we're finding in the field they need to go back and get the soft skills to be successful and move up the executive ranks. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Data Talk podcast. To watch the full episode, you can either go to the Experian blog. The URL is experian.com slash datatalk, or you can click on the link, which is found in the description of this video.